In lesson 5 on Euclidean geometry, we are going to have a look at the converse similarity theorem. We now know that converse implies that the if and then parts of the similarity theorem simply swap around. So the converse similarity theorem says if the corresponding sides of the two triangles are in the same proportion, then the triangles are also equiangular, have equal angles, and hence are similar. So our if part here that we know is that A, B and D, E will have the same ratio as A, C and D, F and also the same ratio as B, C and E, F. If we know this, then we can accept that the angles are the same. So angle A will be the same as angle D, angle B the same as angle E, and angle C the same as angle F, and then we can say that these two triangles are similar. The reason for this converse similarity theorem is sides of the triangles in the same proportion. In our example, we are now given information about the side lengths, but no information about the angle sizes. So when they now ask us to prove these two triangles similar, we are going to focus on the ratios of the sides rather than proving angles equal. So we need to prove that the small triangle APQ is similar to triangle ABC. Now, for our small triangle, we already know all the side lengths. But for the big triangle, I'm just going to add that AB is 30 centimeters and AC is 24 centimeters. We already know that BC is 27. And when we now start, we're going to start off in the same way, mentioning the two triangles that we are going to prove similar. And now once again, we need to mention three parts, but now we're going to work with three pairs of sides that have the same ratio. To do this, it's easier if we go and draw those two triangles separately. Now that I have them separately, it's easier to see which sides are the corresponding sides. So it will be the 20 and the 30 centimeters, the 16 and the 24, and the 18 and the 27. So I'm going to write down that side AQ and side AB will have a ratio of 20 to 30 and simplified 2 over 3. Then side AP over side AC will be 16 over 24 which once again simplifies to 2 over 3 and then lastly PQ over BC is 18 over 27 which also simplifies to 2 over 3. For none of these I need a reason because all these distances were given to us. Now we can make the conclusion that all these ratios are exactly the same and then the converse theorem then says that these two triangles will then be similar. So triangle APQ is similar to triangle ACB and my reason this time, sides of the triangles in proportion. And now that we know these two triangles are similar, we also know that the corresponding angles are the same size. So we can say that angle A is equal to angle A in both of them. Then angle P will be the same as angle C. And the reason for that, they are formed by the same corresponding sides. And then Angle Q will be the same as angle B, once again formed from the same corresponding sides. For all three, my reason I will supply is similar triangles.